Welcome back to week six of my London Marathon training vlog. Uh, it's a total mileage of 58k and the longest run is 29 kilometers. So stay tuned to see how I get on. Welcome back to week six. Uh, continuing the theme of last week, it's still absolutely roasting. Uh, I've managed to find some shade down by the river. I want to jump in for a swim or a paddle, but um, I'm halfway for a run, so I'll best, best not. Um, I'm still absolutely exhausted, but I don't want to spend any more time moaning about that. Um, as you can imagine, it's absolutely roasting. Uh, dogs are unsettled, the baby's unsettled, I'm unsettled, Izzy's unsettled, everyone's unsettled. So, um, I'm not going to labor on that. So let's get straight into what week six has in store. Okay, so running through the plan. Today, Monday is an 8K easy run with 30 minutes of strength. Tuesday is a rest day. Wednesday is 10K tempo. That's 4K easy, 3K tempo, 3K easy. Thursday is an easy run, 6K with five times 20 second strides. Friday's a rest. Saturday, Conveniently is a 5k easy, which, which is park run. And then Sunday is a long run, 29 kilometers at easy pace. So that's the key for that one. There's no marathon pace blocks in there, which is music to my ears after last week. So today's Tuesday is the hottest day of the week. So I'm choosing to do the shortest run of the week on the plan. So that's a 6k easy with the five times 20 second strides. Tomorrow, Wednesday, that's going to be, um, Probably the 10k tempo session, depending on the temperature. Thursday is then going to be the 8k easy. Friday is going to be a rest day. Saturday is going to be the 5k park run. Sunday is going to be the 29k long run, the easy run. I try and get up and do that early, early morning on Sunday. Um, just because the runs are getting longer, the temperature is getting hotter, and um, that's probably going to be the best way to do it. Can't promise that. I might do it, do the long one on the Friday afternoon instead of the rest, but I don't want to put park run at jeopardy because last week that's what happened and I missed park run, which I'm still not happy about. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so pretty tired today it was absolutely baking yesterday so I chose to take the rest um, wanted a bit of an early night but it didn't really make a difference because it was so hot I couldn't sleep so I'm just tired because of the because of how hot it is not because they're not because very am one she's been brilliant she just started smiling which is absolutely unbelievable like socially smiling, they say. So when you're playing with her and getting her to smile and she's having a bit of a little bit of a giggle maybe. Not like a full laugh, but just like a noise. But it's absolutely lush, magical. So gives me so much energy seeing that. We've had a few issues with uh, milk. Uh, she's got cow's milk protein allergy. So we've just been chopping and changing the milk over the past four weeks or so just trying to get something she settles on. So we've settled on this Alphamino, like fully medicated milk. That seems to be going okay, but it takes, it takes a bit of time for our body to get used to it. So that's going well, positive news. Even with all that though, she's still been brilliant. Still been really chilled. She sleeps well. She was still feeding well, even though she wasn't very well. So, very lucky. But we're trying to keep it as chilled as possible. I don't know if that helps. You read a lot about that. But we take pride in doing as little as possible. 
at the weekends and taking our time with everything. So Sunday, we just had a trip to the garden centre, had a coffee and a panini or whatever, and that was our main outing for the day. It was lovely. We've probably slowed down and chilled out more since having a, it's forced us to put the brakes on a bit because we like to keep busy before. So now it's just, I didn't expect that, caught me by surprise that we'd be more chilled and doing less now she's here, which is really welcome. It's nice to chill. Right, that's me coming up to 4K. Just gonna do my strides around the cricket pitch. Might have a cheeky beer to finish with Steve. He's at the cricket club. Uh, 31 degrees today, absolutely roasting, so good to get it done. But I'll see you tomorrow. It's hump day! Didn't do the 10k tempo as planned. Opted for the easy one. Time just got away with us. Walked the dogs up the river with Izzy and Marianne went. And then just need to get, get the 8k easy done so I can get back, get some dinner on and then get in bed. I fall. Not very good sleeps, not ideal. Not horrendous, not the worst, but just feel a bit knackered. So, just want to get this cracked and then get in bed. Taking it super easy. It's still very warm, very muggy. Trying to keep the heart rate as low as possible. Sitting around six minutes per K. Church bells are ringing. Someone's getting married. Probably not. Not the planned route, we're still going to go up the river again. But run past the local jogging group, so I thought I'd do a couple of K with them. They're doing 10 though. I didn't fancy that, so just sort of turned around at 3.5k. Body's feeling good though. Ankles, I'm really surprised. They're feeling good, so maybe benefiting from that strength and mobility work. So I'll get another one of those done tomorrow. Three o'clock feed finally failed me. Harry Amwin was just really gassy at the bottom end. Constantly farting and oh, it was every time I put the bottom of my mouth she wanted to fart. So three nappy changes later and then she started nodding off. Oh, so I was up for about hour and a half and Izzy had to get up as well but still not that bad still had a reasonably night reasonable night's sleep That's the sound we all know and love. The sound of the end of the workout. That's 8k easy done. See you tomorrow. Happy Thursday. Quick one today. No faffing around. No stopping. Got a 10k tempo. 4k easy. 3k tempo. 3k easy. I'm doing the old lunch run. Getting back last night just realised from speaking to Izzy as well. The evening runs aren't the one at the minute because I'm working all day, missing that couple of hours of good time with Harry Amwin. So I've woke up an hour earlier, <coughs> started work an hour earlier. I'm gonna try and either get the lunch run done or it's about 10 to 2 now, 
late lunch run or a half four run in when I finish work. Got two bites of the cherry then and I can still be finished relatively soon to take over Harry and my responsibility so as you can have some have some time. So feeling really good. Been taking 10 minutes away from the desk every couple of hours or so just to do a bit of mobility when I grab a brew. So just do some ankle rolling or some stretching or whatever but mainly focused on the feet and ankles and I'm feeling probably the best I've felt in a long time today so it can only be a good thing so I'll put the exact paces up now but the easy is as usual in around six minutes per k or whatever the heart rate's saying really if I need to slow down and then the tempo is I think around 427 to 436 might be a little bit out but it's all in the watch so the old trusty pace pace gauge on the watch I'll just stick to that up the river so there's a bit of tree cover sometimes the signal drops a bit but hey ho just gonna put the effort in for the tempo and it is what it is at the end of the day if the pace is a little bit off then at least I know I've put the effort in hope everyone's having a good day I had a good week because it's Friday Eve weekend starts tomorrow and I'll catch you in a bit Time for some tempo. All done. Tempo done. Right, time to wrap this lunch run up. 800 meters to go. Probably finish a little short here, but I need to get back, get showered, and get back to work. So we end up doing 9.4, 9.5 I'd imagine but happy days, another one done see you tomorrow maybe if I'm going to get the long run done tomorrow still undecided let's see how I feel right, if you're enjoying it give it a like and subscribe so you can follow along for next week's I'll see you in a bit park run day so I had a day off in the, in the end yesterday didn't do the long run just um, I was just absolutely knackered finishing work at lunchtime just thought I'm just going to chill spend some time with Izzy and the baby um, physically feeling good though like ankles and feet no issues whatsoever there so I really enjoyed the rest it wasn't a true rest I actually did a bit of um, strength and conditioning work so uh, I did some ankle strength and stability and then some glute work, like a little four exercise workout, um, 30 seconds on, three three or four reps, so that was that. Um, I just logged up privately on Strava, I don't want to clog up everyone's activity feed with my, my strength and conditioning and work, it's just boring, it's just a time and a list of exercises. Uh, park run today, buzzing, absolutely buzzing to get back on the park run. I feel like I've been away for weeks when it's only been one week. Um, got a bit of a sore throat, maybe it's from when we were using the aircon um, when we were sleeping, but I try, struggled to shift that, a bit of a run down. So that's how I felt first thing this morning. Um, the three till four last night but um we pushed it a little bit to the right so it worked out about 345 now i was in bed for like 415 dropped off about 430 i'd imagine so yeah 
That's that. Izzy got up with a baby first thing this morning. I think Izzy and Ariane when I come into a uh, park run today, so I'll try and <laughs> try and spot them this time because um, I missed them last time, which was absolutely good. But... Um, that's about it, yeah. And then the rest of the plans are Saturday, just chilling out really. Might um, go to the beach with the dogs, but uh, we can have, there's a 30 minute limit in the car seat for babies under the age of six weeks, so don't even want to be pushing that. So might just have to have a chill one this weekend and then next weekend get on about. Happy days, well. I'm still in my flip flops and that. It's 25 past eight, so I've got plenty of time. Um, get some coffee down me, and then get to park run. I'll see you there. I had to double check myself because I, I didn't know if it was that spray of the hose because it's early and but it's raining. Nice little bit of rain, lovely. I was only just about to say, hopefully, get a bit of rain this weekend, just to cool things off a bit, but done the rain dance and it's it's happened so happy days Park run all done, good to get in the bag. Um, five minute 32 per K pace, kept the heart rate around 150. Probably a bit quicker than I'd like, but I was chatting to Gareth on the way around. So, um, the nature of the course as well, GPS jumps all over the place. So, it's like one minute you're running, six minute per K, and then the next minute you're like down at five minutes, 18 per K. So, anyway, that's just the way it is. Really enjoyed it though, still feeling really good. Left Molly at home today because um, Izzy and Ari Amwin came to support me, so uh, it just felt like a bit much up for Molly as well. We we're a bit of a rush getting out of the door. But we are gonna go out and walk the dogs later, so that'll be a nice little um, shake off. And then ready for the long run, the 29K long run, tomorrow morning, first thing. So see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Happy Sunday. We're out for the long run. <clears throat> I think it's about 11 o'clock-ish. I was supposed to go out first thing, but Izzy's been absolutely knackered. Bless her, so I did all the feeds last night. She had the spare room, spare bedroom privileges. So she got a full night's sleep. Didn't do too bad, really. Did the uh, 11, three, and seven o'clock feeds. My Garmin's saying I got six hours 45 sleep. It didn't pick up the hour between 10 and 11, so I probably got seven hours 45, which is absolutely amazing considering. So not feeling too bad. But for that reason, I haven't got out first thing. <laughs> so I've handed over where I am when I'm off to get this smashed out. I'm gonna do three 10Ks. So one 10K down to Tree Grouse, where the Newport Park run is, and back, take some fluids on board outside the house. Then all the way up the river and back, take some more fluids on board, and then all the way back down to Tree Grouse, around Tree Grouse and back. That's what I'm planning to do. But let's see if I stick with it, my head doesn't go. Nice and cool today. Nice and damp, so don't get it wrong, it's probably still quite muggy. I always say, speak really positively at the beginning of these videos. Then by the end I'm screwing because it's horrendous. But feels okay. Catch you in a bit. Uh, 
Hello again. See you next week. All done. Ah, oh, done and dusted. Tough one. They're always tough. There's no easy long runs. I picked up the shades for the last 10 just because although the sun's not out, it's bright and I'm just squinting. It's exhausting, it's running all the time. So that was that. I popped in and gave Izzy a kiss and there I am one. Oh, get back. Load the cold water on board now. I think Izzy would have got me something from Aldi when she went shopping because she's, she's good. She's always thinking of me. So let's smash whatever she's got in store for me. Right. Thanks for joining on this week. Really good to continue vlogging it and bringing you along and ex explaining to you the realities of my experience of being a first time dad. Beating myself up over the, how I'm feeling after the long runs and the training. But in reality, doing this alongside having a newborn with the heat we've had and the sleep and it's not all been Izzy doing all the feeds and me just prioritizing the running. Far from it, it's been, I mean, Izzy's really good like that. She will. She will consider the running and training and give me a kick up the arse every now and then, but what I'm trying to say is being a dad and looking after Izzy and Ariane when with the, with the feeding and the routine and the support, firstly. Secondly, walking the dogs and making sure they're happy and they're, they're thriving and they're enjoying themselves. I don't want to do token efforts around the block for them, it's always up the river and whatever. And then thirdly, it's the running, so it's the last on the list of priorities. But really grateful to be doing it, completing the plan, one step closer to London. So if you're enjoying it, as always, thumbs up, subscribe, share it with people who like your that kind of thing. And I'll see you next week.